Arrest's growth in the entertainment industry has been nothing short of inspiring. From the critically acclaimed Saro musical to yet another celebrated Bolan Leo St. Peter's production, Waka, and then to the Voice Nigeria music competition, Arese has not failed to prove herself time after time. Let's find out how she does it all. Multi-talented entertainer Arase Mokbae has found a way to use her dancing, acting and singing skills to full advantage, performing her way into the heart of Nigerians while carving a niche for herself in the industry. The graduate of visual arts from the Washington and Lee University in Virginia, USA, was raised in an art-loving family and was first introduced to the theater in college, although she did not get a major role to play until a few years later. And eventually, by my last year, was that 2010, I, um, I got the lead in a musical. Hoo -hoo. I played Velma in Chicago the Musical, so that was my first big, like, okay, I'm acting, I'm singing, I'm dancing, I'm doing it all. And it was like the thing that changed everything. So after that, after closing that show, that was when I decided that, okay, I can't end here. I have to try. Even if I'm going to be hungry for a few years as a starving artist or whatever, I'm going to try and pursue art. Three years after graduation in 2010, she moved back to Nigeria, a time the theater culture in Lagos, the entertainment hub of the country, was getting a reboot. Moving back to Nigeria is always part of the plan. I wasn't going to go and die in America, you know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, if the performing arts industry wasn't as ripe as it was then when I first moved, I might not have come back just then. Because, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't going to come back to not do anything. So it was just good timing. I, um, after school, after I graduated in 2010, I moved to Chicago and I was working there professionally for about three years and it just felt like the right time. It was like, okay, I, I'm getting older. Huh? If I, what if I now you know, get married and end up staying here? My kids are here. No, no. So now is the time to move while I'm still free and I'm able to just pick up my life. So that's what I did. I literally, I closed my last show. I said, I'm not doing it again. No more auditions. Packed up my house and moved to Nigeria. And um, because the timing was right, I was, you know, it was, a, it was a little dry for a little while, like a year, but then um, I did Saro the Musical, and that's, you know, the rest is history. We refer to it in Igbo as Okirikiri Ozule. Saro the Musical, a project by Bolande Austin Peters, which debuted in 2013, saw Arase play Rume, the love interest of one of the lead acts in the musical. In 2015, she took a lead role in another Bolanle Austin Peters production, Waka, where she played Kike, a happy go lucky materialistic lady. Her delivery endeared many to her, which came in handy when she entered for the Voice Nigeria music competition, which she won in 2016. I always wonder if there's any such thing as like one big break because I feel like everything you do leading up to the thing that somebody new might know you for it, it's all does that make I don't know if I'm making sense but it all feeds into itself so there's some people who have known me since Saro and so you could argue that okay that's that was my break but then there's some people who didn't know me until The Voice or some people who are just now knowing me from Gemeji the show that I'm doing now so which one is the break? I don't know. It, it, it just depends on how you look at it, but they all feed into each other. not something that I ever feel like, oh, I have to pick one, that I have to drop this or I'll lose both or anything like that. It's more just, okay, balancing my priorities, 
the same way I would balance taking care of multiple children. You don't say, oh, well, it's a struggle, so number two, you can go. No, you just cultivate both of them and try and keep them both happy. Although sometimes, obviously, you prioritize one more than the other, depending on the flow of things. Her debut music video, Ueno, which featured rapper Poe, was produced and co-written by Johnny Drill, with the visuals created by Arnie James. Before The Voice, I was I, it, singing as a career wasn't something I was focused on right then. So if not for The Voice, I may not have started recording as a recording artist for many more years because I was mainly an actress who can sing. But then The Voice turned me into, oh, she's a singer. And that's how some people met me is, oh, I watched you for the first time on The Voice. So they know me as a singer and they now see me acting and they're like, oh, wait, what? You, are you, oh, now you want to act? I'm like, no, I've been acting since. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll join. been working on um, music wise I've been working on an EP album project I don't even know what to call it I've been working on a project for a while basically since the beginning when all was just like okay here's a song so that you guys do know I'm working but then I wanted to take the time to really figure out what my sound was going to be because I don't want to just throw out music for the sake of throwing out music I wanted to have something that was unique and you could say that oh that's RSA's sound that nobody else sounds like that nobody else is doing that so thankfully, I'm happy to say that there's an EP coming out very, very soon, within the next month, God willing, yes. <laughs> and um, aside from that, obviously, I'm working on Gemma G. I'm going to, this, I have so many plans for life. There's a lot coming. I can't talk about it all, but there's a lot coming. So Arasa is currently starring in the TV series, Gemma